Hello everyone and welcome back for some more space exploration. In the last episode I was talking about how I've got this system set up here out, out on uh, Tulip where we've got the all of the different Vitamalange products being produced. So down here we've got the um, the core mine, core fragments. We've got the Vitamalange spice. We've got the the Vitamalange. What's this stuff called? Vitamalange extract. We've got the epoxy. We've got the acid, vitalic acid, and we've got the Vitamalange um, reagent, vitalic reagent as well. And all of these are being put into these stations along here, where they can then be loaded into the um, in, into onto trains. When a spaceship comes in and lands here, thump. Uh, the trains will pour out a bit, they'll come around to these stations, they'll load up, and they'll head back onto the spaceship, and the spaceship will depart. That was the point I'd got to at the um, end of the last episode. And since then, I've had a few thoughts and considerations. For one thing, we're not getting enough of this stuff through, the... Um, the uh, vitamin lange extract that's under really high demand so we're actually we're either going to have to bring a bit more of it through from here or we're going to have to find a way to get it to, to start making it at the other end i don't want to make it at the other end because the whole point of this system is that we take we get in the vita in this case to make vitamin lange extract for example you need twice as much vitamin lange spice to make the extract so it's it's inefficient to be transporting this stuff and turning it into this stuff at the other end what i only want to do is be transporting more of this stuff in the first place so what i'm thinking i'm going to do is pull up this along here and this with the intent of adding on a little bit more railway like that so that I can put in another station here like that uh, which will also need to be linked into the logistics network of course and across. is it all linked up now? I can't yes it is, yeah it's all, link all linked together um, and then I want to have a splitter here to feed this in like that so now we're loading up this as well these need to be reprogrammed to. There's a spaceship arriving for all of this stuff. Yep, there it is. It's just arrived. Um, that train's unhappy because it can't get round here, but that's understandable because I've pulled up the railway line. Uh, if I put that there, then we can fill in the gaps. The train will come through like that. And then it'll load up. Now, what I want to do is put an extra wagon on the back of this train. I don't know if that's something I can do. Uh, let's take you over to manual mode for the moment. I don't know if I've got another piece of, um, if I've got another railway wagon here, available here though. No, not too much, too much. And here come some bots to do the rest of it. So, yeah, it looks like I don't have the additional wagon I need for this, unfortunately. So, but that's okay, we'll just let this build up. So we'll let, let some stock build up here for, uh, for the next time the train needs, for the next time the train needs, comes around and needs to be filled up. So we'll, we'll let that train go. Um, it's not taking the ghost with it, which is a little bit of a shame. So this is now going, as, as, as discussed before, as we, showed, we saw in the last episode, train goes back on there, and the spaceship's ready to go, blip, gone, right, okay, great. So that's working fine, um, it's just not bringing, it's just not carrying quite enough of the um, vitamin melange extract around with it, because I'm, I'm getting through that at a slightly faster rate than I was expecting to. So as you can see, at the other end here, I've built up this little system here. And these, these stations are essentially the same as all of these stations down here, except I've got them coming off both sides of the rail, just to, just to make it a little bit more compact. So what I'm going to want to do is have an additional station in here to allow the train to unload, uh, to, to unload the other, a uh, second uh, wagon's worth of the vitamin lange extract. But as you can see, these are all being, each one of these is coming out and it's going to a separate warehouse. So we've got, now we've got, for example, we've got 14,000 in there, 24,000 in there. Um, actually, it's the number of stacks that matter to an extent, isn't it? So the, this one's about half, they're, they're generally about half full for the ones that are, um, are not under particularly high use, usage. But it turns out that we're using quite a lot of this one, um, this one, and an enormous amount of this one, which is why I need, I reckon I need to have more of this coming through. As you can see, this one's completely empty. We're getting through this faster than it's being brought up, which is slightly unfortunate. But it's notable that each each time the spaceship arrives, we are getting essentially one, each, each wagon, each, each, we have one wagons full of each thing. So they get unloaded here for quite happily. And then the trains, then then the trains come in. And, and so for each time a spaceship arrives, you can only carry, get one train's worth of each of these things out because it's always one wagon of everything. Now, the wiring here has, has, to be, has, have to, has had to be rather complicated, as you can tell by the sheer number of um, 
a comp uh, com combinators here. So what we need to do is we need to watch all. We need to watch the train to see when it runs out of any of the things it's carrying. And when a train runs out of any of the things it's carrying, then we send it away because it needs to go and get some more. Um, that would be fine, except for a couple of things. Firstly, if it's still unloading the other things it's carrying, then it might as well stay until it's unloaded as much as it can because otherwise if you find some of them like this one for example unloads really really quickly because it's almost direct insertion these ones are a bit slower because they have to go onto a single belt so this one will always finish first which means we need something to make sure that the train doesn't depart as soon as this as soon as the the uh, epoxy is unloaded while the reagent and the acid are still still being unloaded um, and while there's still plenty of uh, plenty of room for them and that's probably why there's 48 of these in here because something like that's happened so what I've also done is I programmed the trains to wait for five seconds, presumably, uh, of inactivity before they before they'll leave, and that's long enough to just to make sure that these are still un as unloaded as they can be, and and it means that once these eventually fill up and the and the belts fill up and the chests fill up, so it's the complete backlog all the way, then that won't stop the trains leaving, but it will mean they'll wait just to make sure that they've unloaded as much of that as they can. The second thing that makes it complicated is it's not just one train. We need to say that this train, um, that if this train is empty and leaves, then this train needs to depart as well, because otherwise the spaceship won't go to get more. So in the case of say the, if 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 we're using the uh, talk, talking about the um, what's this the, the the extract for example, that's going to get used up faster. So if the if the train has run out of that. <clears throat> If this, if this one's empty, then both trains need to go, so that the spaceship will go back to get more of it. And so what I've got here is I've got a um, I've got a latch set up, and the way this works is we, we we count the number of trains here in the station, and we say okay when this when two trains are in the station, so when both the trains have come out and actually got to the station, then we set the latch, and then we're getting fret, and then we continue. So we've got here we're checking for one train, here we're checking for, checking for the other, and it's the same things I do on the on the spaceship. So we've got this one is T, this one is S. When both of those are active. It outputs two ticks, so then we say two ticks equals uh, means then yes we have a set, or no ticks means we have a, means there's no trains there, so we reset it. So down here we say um, if it's go if it goes if it goes positive then output one of these, and that means we've always got um, as long as there's and then that's fed round and round in circle. So as long as there as long as both trains have arrived, there will always be a green coming out of here, and therefore this will output a tick. This one watches watch it watches watches what's in the trains and we have this accumulator combinator here sorry saying that if you have let's say of minus one of everything so if there's an empty if anything's empty then it will force it to then it will um oh, here, here, and here come the trains in fact and there we go they're unloading as i as i was talking, saying um so if any of any as, as soon as any of these are empty then this will start to output uh, this one of these will go less than zero so this will output a tick this watches for two ticks both two trains have arrived and at least one of the trains is empty you see so that one goes first but this one is still waiting for it's got that circuit condition of a tick of a tick to tell us it's allowed to go but it's waiting for the inactivity inactivity it's now empty so it's got the inactivity so it can go the same would apply if the um, if it was still partly full but it had unloaded as much as it could now what I should be doing is putting an extra wagon onto the back of this one Please do that before it goes. <laughs> I don't know why this ship hasn't gone. Oh, this ship is refueling. That's why it's still there. Okay. So with any luck, we'll get that wagon put on there before this train, before the ship goes. I don't know if that's actually going to be the case, though. But as you can see, we're immediately loading all of these things into trains to take them off to go to the science areas because we've got through it. At the, we're getting through it at the rate at, as fast as it's coming in. So these are loading up and taking it away as quickly as I can. Uh, now, it looks like we actually need some more of the reagents as well. So let's try and do that. Do I... Do I not have these, um... No, it looks like it should be okay. Um, let's have a look on the map. Do we have any... No, we don't have any construction bots bringing those up, which is a bit odd. Have I got the, um... And they're inside the construction areas. Yeah, they are. They're inside the construction... Oh, maybe they're not, actually. Maybe they're borderline just out of it. Okay. So that's not going to work. I'm going to have to do that manually. But that, which, um, is kind of annoying, but never mind. What I could probably do, though is chuck one of these in here like that and if that gets built in time I can get that to request the two the two wagons and then we can put them in at the other when it gets to the other end I can do that sort of sort of by hand I'm also going to need to shuffle these around a little bit by the looks of it in order to get everything to where it needs to go that's a bit of a pain but oh no there goes the ship 
too slow. <laughs> Never mind. So yes, this this system is working, but there are a couple of little issues with it that I need to fix before I can call it, before I'll be absolutely happy with it. Mostly because it works fine, it's just not bringing some of the things through quickly enough. So, with all of that, I've been able to now start working properly on the Biological Science 4, which is quite nice. So over here, we had, yeah, we're doing, oh, that's Bio 2, we're doing Bio, no, that's Bio, bio 3 here. So Bio 4 was actually surprisingly... I hesitate to call it easy. It it didn't require an enormous amount of stuff to be built up down here. Let's let's put it that way, shall we? Yes. Uh, so we're making um, the, f the first type of data cards. So, okay, we've got a shortage. We're running into shortages of various of the ingredients, and that's because we don't have enough of some of these things coming through. So um, we actually seem to have enough of the reagent. It's the the processed vitamilange. This this stuff that we're really really short of, I think. Although that said, we seem to be okay for it at the moment, and we've just had a train come in and dump a load, so why why do we not have any blue bio samples? That's the, that's the big question. So here we go, this is where they're made, and we don't have any pink biomasses, or purple or whatever colour we want to call that. And they come from up all the way up here, so it's this one that's sad, and we don't have enough nutrient gel. And where does nutrient gel come? This is what Factorio is is all about, really. Just sort of tracing these things back and trying to work out why you don't seem to have any of all these things that you thought you had loads of, but apparently you've run out of cosmic water, of all things. I mean, there's there's something being brought over at the moment. We're low on chemical gel, and we're low on cosmic water, and we're low on bio sludge. So it could be any of those. But generally, yeah. So that's Factorio is all about sort of find, make, telling the machines to make, start making something, and then finding out that you don't have enough of one of the inputs, and then following it back and back and back to find out where the shortage is actually coming from. So when that train arrives, I'll find out which liquid has been brought in, and therefore which one is the slightly less of a problem. But eventually, that'll get work. That'll get running again, and we'll, we'll start getting some more of these um, this genetics data coming through. So this is comparative jet and genetics data because it's comparing the green ones and the blue ones to see what you get. Then we're, um, what are we doing here? This is decompression resistance data. So we're squishing it and then unsquishing it, presumably, in the mechanical facilities. That, again, needs more of the uh, blue bio samples. So this is a bit, this is struggling. Um, fortunately, it keeps returning them so we can reuse them. Uh, <laughs> but I don't think that'll go on forever. Then we're making what looked like the um, the Riddler from Batman's um, symbol. That's resist radiation resistance data. So we're radiating the um, the bio samples and finding out what we get from that. And again, that needs the blue ones. So we're in, yeah, we're really struggling for those. And finally, we've got uh, is this one. This one required me to make advanced neural gel, which was um, takes in another one of the earlier genetic data, I think. Um, and then we we trans uh, do do stuff with that. And it, yeah, there's none none of this none of this is exactly rocket engineering. It's just going through the recipes, plugging them in as you go. And you um, and we need a blue circuit here because of course we did. Uh, then down here we've got the, uh, the, the the array of computers as usual. Those can make the um, that make the actual data cards. Uh, the, sorry, the catalogs themselves. Those are being chucked out one at a time. They're coming over here. And as usual, we're filling up the station over here. When this gets to mumble, 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 thousand, uh, so it's 350, 700, 2100, um, then a train will come and take them away. And when it takes them away, it takes them up here to the science area because, of course, these all these all work in basically the same way. You're, you're used to all of this now. You know you know how this goes. Then up here, so this is this is one of the big things we've got. We now got we're now bringing in lots and lots of the different types of reagents, I suppose, for want of a better word. So we've got the we've got the Vitamilange extract, we've got the bio scrubbers, we've got the Vitalic epoxy, we've got the uh, Vitalic reagent, we've got those core fragments as well, and they're all coming in here because biological is difficult because you need all of these different things in order to make it. But they're all being fed over here, and then we've tacked on. Bioscience 4 being made at the top here. Um, it seems to be struggling because we've run it over and out of catalogues. Okay, because I've, we've only I've only just got that going. So I brought the first few hundred over just to get it started and see how it was going. And and now we've now we've run out. So it's it it's stalled. But but that's okay. We are making them. There's a few bottlenecks to deal with. But the basic idea is basically basically the basic idea is basically okay. Yes, that's some good English. So we feed them down round here. They drop onto the chute, goes down here, brings them all the way. Oh no, sorry, no. They drop onto this chute, brings them all the way down, all the way over here, 
into the sushi system and then we can now transform those they'll, they'll go they will eventually go through on presumably the top of this belt i guess or no no sorry top of this belt um and they'll be passed through they'll go in here to be scienced up and as you can see we've now i've now started researching the deep space science packs so that's going to be the sort of the, the first one of the of the new new era new new tier new 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 approach to science i guess because we've i've done all four of the um I've done all four of all four of the uh, space sciences, and so now it's moving on to deep space science, and that's the next one, and that's that's difficult. And as you can see, that requires 2,000 of each of the tier four science packs and rocket science in order to research it. So it's going to take a while to actually get that one done. Um, but once I've, once I've got that, I can then start on. I can then start thinking about how, actually how I'm going to make it. And this is going to be interesting because I'm going to need to go off to get uh, Naquium, which is another exotic material. But that's one you can't find anywhere in the in the solar system. Uh, not you. I wanted the star map, not the not this one. Um, so Kalidus orbit. There's got all these planets out here, but none of these will have any Naquium at all. So I'm going to have to go all the way out and go out to one of these. Um, I think it's this Dark Flare was the one I decided to go to. Yes, Dark Flare is has lots and lots of Naquium in it, but it's a long, long way. There's not going to be any solar energy out there because it's so far from any 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 sun. So it's going to be it's going to be difficult. I'm going to need to do a bit of bit of rethinking of how everything is going to work. But I'm cautiously optimistic. I think I think I should be able to get it to I should be able to get it working. And I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to trying. So that's going to be something to do in the in the in the future. In the meantime, I need to get this flowing a bit faster because we don't have enough of the ingredients we need to make the make all the science packs. And it's actually this one isn't coming through quickly enough. If I'm going, to, I was going to say I was going to put in a second train to uh, a second wagon to to get this stuff as well, but it looks like that's not being made quickly enough for it. So I might need to come over here and do some fiddling and boosting of this input. So let's see how we do. There's how fast is this belt running. This belt is basically running flat out, so we're turning we're turning this Vitamelange uh, spice into Vitamelange extract as fast as we possibly can, and then bringing it down here and turning all of that into Vitalic reagent. So, without a, a fairly significant redesign or improvement, we aren't going to get any more out of it. There's no point in even bothering to power this one because the, they're not getting down there. So we're not going to be able to get this coming out any faster here without ma massive expansions. Um, down here again, we're using up the um, process stuff as fast as it comes in in order to make the vitalic acid. Although at some point that will, that might actually fill up. Yes, that's that's filled its filled its um, belt up, and so it's filled its chest up at the other end. So we're going to stop needing that quite so much. But yeah, we are just getting through crazy crazy amounts of all of these things so there's going to need to, it's good we're going to actually that said this one's now full i could put in a low priority feed from this one and feed that up and turn it into more uh, more of the um the reagent that might be a good way to do this so there are some things i can do to make this better but in the meantime it's um i'm going to need to, i'm going to need to have a bit of a play around a bit of an, do a bit of expansion down here and see how we can get things going from there so Yes, that's quite a lot of stuff to do. Oh, and I need to repair this belt. Because I broke this earlier when I was doing the... Um, the other thing. <laughs> there we go, feed that through like that. So yeah, this this should now allow me to do things a bit more efficiently, a bit more effectively down here. I'll I'll boost that in the next during the next stream, I think, because that's going to be a, a relatively big job, um, and then see what we can do up here with the, the, the with the reagent because we I think I'm going to need more of that as well. How fast is this fight, this Vulcan going through? Fairly quickly, but only about half a belt. So that's that's okay. I can I can put more load on there without it being a problem. Right. Well. Okay. Yes. So there is lots to do. Um, I think I think most of it is sort of. I feel like most of it is is manageable levels of of, of, of building though. I'm not too worried about any of this. Um, but I am slightly slightly intrep in, uh, con slightly um, concerned about the uh, about doing the deep space science because I'm pretty sure that's going to be quite difficult. Um, but it'll be. I think it's going to be a little while before I'm actually trying to put that together. There's going to be a lot of infrastructure to do first. Uh, so yeah, I think I think that's all I have for you today. Um, I've 
as we know, I've uh, I think I've talked about everything else. We've got one, two, three, four science ca catalogs being made um, all the way through, all the way up to tier four. I still haven't tidied up this bus thing down. This this building area over here maybe that's going to be another thing I need to I'll, I'll get done at some point as well but that's quite a big thing that I, I want to do but otherwise um, I think now we're just ready to start pushing towards the um, the more extreme sciences so um, I think in uh, soon we'll start talking about getting out to uh, getting out to that other um, distant deep space mining facility get some mining going on over there and we'll see how it goes from there so Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, there'll be another one next Tuesday. Oh, no, sorry, next next Friday even. There, that's the yeah. These episodes come out on Fridays. Yes, there we go. That's, that's right. The streams, on the other hand, when I'm streaming myself actually playing the game properly rather than just you know talking about it, uh, those come out on Tuesdays. So um, please do come along to those. There, I start at 7:30 p.m. UK time and uh, play for sort of about three hours or until I fall asleep in my chair. Um, and they're they're always good fun. It's nice to have people along to sort of give me advice and heckling and that sort of thing as I'm playing. Um, Thursdays we're doing the um, Industrial Revolution st still. We're um, getting on quite well with that. I think we might be going to finish it fairly soon and then have to think of something else to play. Um, but we'll see how that goes. And then on, is it Sundays? Yeah, Sundays at the moment I think I'm releasing the uh, GTA videos. Um, I've dropped them down to once a week so hopefully I can sort of work on making them slightly higher quality. Just boost the, boost the quality of them, make them a, that little bit better. So, I look forward to seeing you for all of that. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.